The Villas del Cabo apartment complex is the center of law enforcement's attention and has been for the past four days. Three-year-old Lena Keel was last seen here on Monday. Just bring her back and just drop her off. I mean, at this point, I'd rather have her back than prosecute somebody. The apartment resident we spoke to didn't want to be identified. And although she fears little Lena might have been taken, SAPD investigators are still only treating this case as a missing person because they have no suspect this time. But we're told that could change. Today, FBI agents were seen knocking on doors at the complex. FBI showed up and they searched my apartment, looking under the bed, under the couch, outside, and they had this questionnaire going through questions. Would you be willing to give a DNA sample if needed? Agents also went to nearby businesses to try and get answers as to where Lena could be. A guy plain clothes, guy come inside and flaps a badge and tell us what, what's going on. So we were like, oh yeah, come, come on down. We'll, we'll give you everything you need. Manager at Belden's Automotive, Alex De Hoyos, explained on Monday they gave all their security video to authorities. Their cameras can see the entire entrance to the apartments. He adds everyone around them is trying to do what they can to help find Lena. This community right now is just very sad right now at this moment. Every day that goes by is just is heartbreaking, you know. You need to keep an eye on your children. They're a precious commodity and, I mean, I'm, I'm heartbroken. In the past four days, the Islamic Center of San Antonio has raised $100,000 for a reward, and Crime Stoppers is offering up to $50,000. So if you have any information that might lead to Lena's whereabouts, you could be eligible for up to $150,000. And tomorrow, there will be a prayer vigil for Lena at 10 a.m. at St. Francis Church. John Paul Barajas, KSAT. News. Hey guys, it's Michelle here. So this article here is a few hours old now, but this is just about everything that we know about the disappearance of little three-year-old Lena Keel at the moment. As the search for missing three-year-old girls stretches into a fifth day and draws national attention, San Antonio Police and the FBI are continuing their efforts to locate her. Police Chief William McManus said on Wednesday that officers had not had much success in finding little Lena, who disappeared on Monday evening at the Villas del Cabo complex at the 9400 block of Fredericksburg Road. So this is the complex here that she disappeared from, and we'll have a look around this area in a second or two. She was last seen wearing a black jacket, red dress and black shoes. Police will continue to search areas around the apartment on Friday in hopes of finding Lena. They've also requested the help of an FBI rapid response team which could provide officers with additional resources. The community has organised a prayer vigil as we saw in the little news clip there. San Antonio police are asking for specific people to reach out to its missing persons unit to help in the search for Lena. Any residents who were at the Villa Del Cambo apartment complex between 4.30pm and 5.10pm, so that is quite specific. We've got that 40-minute window there that is quite specific, which I think is going to prove crucial. And anybody there at that time is urged to contact San Antonio Police, and there's the number with actionable tips. Also, anyone who spoke with Lena or her family any time on Monday is urged to contact police as soon as possible. For me, reading between the lines of what the police are saying there is that they they need a more accurate timeline of what Lena was doing on Monday. Was Lena even seen at all on Monday by anybody? Now, hopefully, if there's other people around, they will be able to clarify that, or if they've already clarified that by now. But um, no detail is too small as we continue to search for Lena, the police said in a release. Although the police presence that the family saw may look different at Christmas Eve, Christmas Day approach, the department said the resources to aid the search for Lena are being redirected to be as proactive as possible. Though San Antonio police are asking the FBI to deploy its child abduction rapid response team to aid officers in the search, McManus clarified that investigators do not have any reason to believe Lena was abducted, which is interesting. If it were an abduction, we would be looking for an individual or have evidence of a child being abducted, McManus said on Wednesday. Right now, we don't have any of that. 
That may change, but right now it's still a missing person. Another reason they are treating it as a missing persons case is that there's not currently a suspect. SAPD has used canines in the search, which is still contained to the San Antonio area. The FBI's rapid response team has resources that the department doesn't, McManus said. If we have video that's not real clear, they can work on their end to clarify any video footage, he said. They have resources, they have boots on the ground here that are helping us canvas the area. FBI agents have been seen knocking on residents' doors as well as checking in with nearby businesses, as we saw in the in the clip and then we've got the manager of uh, Belden's automotive across the street who've got surveillance that they've given to the police the store's cameras can see the entire entrance so if she came out of that entrance of her own volition if she snuck out for whatever reason and it is a busy road as we'll see in a second that camera should have picked her up his cameras can't see the side entrances. So if she has been abducted or she's wandered off any one of those side entrances to the apartments, hopefully the surveillance on those as well. It looks a pretty built up area. I can imagine there's a there's a lot of surveillance to go through. I'd hope that the police are able to put in as many resources as the West Australia police did, you know, when little Cleo Smith went missing and they had a, a, a specific officer per camera, and uh, they were able to get through a, a huge amount of possible surveillance and tips and everything because they just threw everything at it. And that was a very good outcome. So hopefully we see that kind of resource being put in place here. Officers continue searching areas surrounding the apartment complex on Thursday, but as time passed, so does their chance of finding Lena. The longer the time elapses, the less hopeful we become, McManus said. Authorities sent a second Amber Alert for Lena on Wednesday evening. The first Amber Alert was sent to people's phones late on Monday night. The Islamic Centre of San Antonio and Crime Stoppers are offering hefty reward, as we saw in the clip. Margaret Constantino, with the Centre of Refugee Services, um, said on Tuesday that the Charles family is among the Afghanistan refugees in San Antonio. At least 1,300 people from Afghanistan have come through the Centre of Refugee Services for resettling here. While she knows very little about the family, including when exactly they came to the United States, Constantino says any missing child is everyone's missing child. It's like any big family with lots and lots of little kids. All these children are precious to us, she said. Knowing this community, they're very close-knit, so people will be out there beating the bushes looking for that child. Lena was at the playground at the apartment complex with her mother and other children between 5 to 6 p.m., Monday, when her mother left and returned to find her daughter missing, the chief said in a news conference on Tuesday morning, which is interesting, 5 to 6 p.m., but they're looking for people in the area who were specifically there between 4.30 and 5.10. What specifically about that 40-minute window do they want to know about? That's curious. That's interesting. So this will be according to the mother's story, I'm suspecting, and the other children who were there. Now, question here is, how old were these children? Were they all little kids? Were they all just left to play on their own? Presumably the parents there felt it was safe because it's, you know, it's enclosed, it's gated. Or were these older children? Were they looking after Lena? Were they told to look after Lena? How long was Lena's mother away her mother left and returned to find her daughter missing, the chief said. Now, I have seen some reports who say something slightly different, that the mother was there, but she just took her eyes off her and then she was seen heading towards a path. And I, I don't know what's the right story, but it does seem to be she did leave for a, for a period of time. So where did she go? Did she go back to the apartment? McManus said it's unclear exactly how long the mother was away. She returned a short time later and said the girl wasn't left alone and there were other kids at the playground, which is open within the complex. Why were kids left to look after another kid? And, and yeah, it might be a safe place 
It might be perceived as a safe, safe place. Children might be able to go and play on their own there. The family reported the child missing around 7.15pm and an Amber Alert was issued. Officers searched the area by foot and air on Monday but did not locate her. SAPD continued their search Tuesday morning and asked FBI for assistance. Officers went door to door to each apartment. There are under 300 units in the complex to search for Lena. Officers also searched video, checked cars, dumps recorded license plates due to the suspicious nature of the disappearance. We have every available asset in the police department working on this case right now, adding that we are sparing no assets or resources. That's good to know. So far, the mother and residents have been cooperative. Nobody comes and goes without talking to a police officer, he says. So if someone has snatched her away, they've been pretty brazen, unless... It's somebody in one of these apartments, which is concerning. That's a little face that you need to be looking for in the San Antonio area. So let me just uh, take a look here at Google Maps. This is the apartment complex here. You can see here several lanes of traffic. There's another road here at this uh, intersection. Let's have a look. So we've got storage units there. We've got lots and lots of apartments. So we've got this apartment complex here, but if we just zoom out a little bit, it's very built up. If somebody has whisked her away, she could have, you know, gone into any one of these buildings. You know, she's, uh, she's kind of gone. She's gone very quickly. So, you know, how long, how long was the mother away? And... Did any of these children see anything? And presumably there's specialist units who are interviewing the children to get any information they might have. You can see there's a swimming pool. I don't know whether that's a swimming pool. Can we get any closer in? Yeah, that's a swimming pool. Did, did something happen at the swimming pool? I mean, all these are just, you know, questions in my mind at the moment. We don't know very much about this case. It's uh, it's very new, but it's very curious. It's very unusual. Just hope she's located and she's safe and sound. If she's run away, she might have run away and be scared. It concerns me that um, the police chief in one of the conferences said that um, search dogs had picked up a scent but then lost it. So I'd like to know more about that. How how long did they track her for and where did they lose? How did they lose that scent? Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. I've been Michelle. I hope you're well, and I'll see you in the next video.